welcome viewers to another episode on ASUG 12 exams. So in this episode we continue looking at section B of the August 2022 science paper 1 which is basically our physics. Let us look at question e, B4. Figure B4.1 shows a seesaw balanced with forces as indicated. The 200 newtons force is 2 meters from the pivot. The 150 newtons force is y meters from the pivot. And the 110 newtons force is 2 meters from the pivot. State the principle of moment. So this one is basically just stating the principle of moment. So the principle of moment states that for an object to be in equilibrium the sum of all clockwise moments must be equal to the sum of all and clockwise moments. That's what it implies. So all in this case the moments this side must be equal to the moment this side. Otherwise uh, this moment will start allotating or tilting. So this is what um, the principle of moment states. Ideally what we are saying is a force one, force to the left, multiplied by distance to the left, which is perpendicular distance must equal to all the force to the right multiplied by distance, perpendicular distance to the right. So this summation must word. That's what it implies. Let us look at a beam. Calculate the distance y. So the distance y, this y, if uh, this is balanced. That's what the question wants us to find. So what we do is basically we sum um, the forces using uh, this formula. So basically it will be uh, the uh, forces multiplied by the perpendicular distance, which is the moments to this side, the left side, we sum also the moment to the right hand side. So the moment to the left hand side using this formula will be basically this distance in meters multiplied by in the force. So it will be basically 200 newtons multiplied by in, uh, 2 meters which is the perpendicular distance. So this is F multiplied by distance. So this is left, left equals F multiplied by right then distance right. So this side we have two. The first one is uh, this, the furthest, which is uh, two meters away from the pivot. So it will be basically 110 multiplied by two meters, then plus this one, which is uh, y meters from uh, the pivot. So it will be basically 150 newton multiplied by y, which is uh, 150y. Then at this point we solve for y. So what we do in this case now, this side it will be a 200 multiplied by 2, it will be 400, then equals, so 400 meter newton, remember these are meters, these are meters, then these are meters, then it will be a basically a 220 newton meters, then plus him. 150y newton meters. So I collect the like term so it will be 400 newton meters minus 220 newton meters then equals 150 uh, y newton meters. Then what we do is uh, basically we proceed by solving for y. So we know that um, the difference between these two is basically 180 equals 
to basically 150 y then we divide by 115 150 then a y is equal to basically if you use the calculator y is equal to nothing but 1.2 meters because it is a distance so that's the value of y okay we move to c find the force x acting upwards at the pivot so to answer c we use the principle that the system is considered to be in equilibrium if uh, the two opposing forces are equal so in this case we have the total the total upward force is equal to um, the total downward a force so when you go to the um, the system this is upward force this is downward this is downward this is downward so we sum this uh, that downward that downward this should be equal to uh, the upward force that's what it should be so let us add uh, the downward so the downward what we know is basically is 200 plus 150 plus 100 and 10 okay which is the downward so 200 plus 150 then plus uh, 100 and 10 these are the forces that we have these should be equal to the upward force so when we add this we are going to end up with force is equal to uh, 200 plus 150 is say uh, basically 350 plus 110 is going to be basically 460 newton so this 460 newton is uh, the one acting upward otherwise it's going to fail otherwise this is going to fail so this force upward should be basically equal to 460 newton otherwise this is going to go down so the force here is equivalent to the sum of these uh, forces so basically this is how you answer this question to get the five marks so please join me as i look at question b5 in the next episode